Hello everyone, welcome to Wired by FNA. Here I'm back with another video about recruitment automation. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect AI agent, Google Sheet, and a function node. So for that, we are going to begin with a Gmail trigger node. On the message received will be selected and in the credential portion, Gmail project. This is the credentials that we made in the previous video. Now we are going to select AI agent. Here we are going to select define below. That means we are going to manually tell our AI agent what the prompt gonna be. Now this croc jet model will be connected with the AI agent. For the credentials, we have to make the new credentials. For that, I'm going to go to the Grok site. Go to the first site and in the API key portion, log in with your Google account. Select your email ID. Now press the continue button. Click at the create API key. Now name it whatever you want. Then you can copy the API given to you and you can paste that back to your Anaten node. Don't forget to name it properly and save it. We are also going to attach a simple memory which will be holding what we have given the record to the AI agent. Here also we are going to select define below. Here we are going to select the prompt for that. I have provided it in the notepad. I'm going to just copy and paste. You can make it from the ChatGPT as well. Now I'm pasting it over here. This prompt is basically saying that fetch the name, contact and email from the email coming inside our Gmail. Now we are going to connect the Google Sheets so that the information of the person who is applying for the internship or any job should be saved. Inside the credentials, we are going to make the new credentials. For that, we will go to our Google Cloud Console. I already have made a project on the Google Cloud Console, so I'm going to go with my previous project. Otherwise, you can also select a new project here and use that. Select APIs and services and go in the OAuth consent screen. Now, here, type Google Sheets, enable the API. Also, go for the drive as well because in this way you are giving your space for sheets or the documents. After that, you need to go to your OAuth consent screen. In the data access portion where you need to give all the necessary permissions, update it, and then in the end, save it. Now 
After that, go in the audience section where you have to check whether you have given a test user email or not. So for that, I'm going to give my test user email. In the client portion, we have to make a client ID. I'm going to select web application, give it any default name that you want. And then press create. You will find client ID and client secret given to you. Paste it. Now here we can see client ID and client secret have been given. Add your URL copied from the Google Sheet node and paste it to the add URI portion. Click at save. Now go back to your NNN. And don't forget to name your credentials properly so that in future you know which credential was made for which project. Now for the documents, uh, we can't see it now. So there might be something we are missing. I'm going to go in the sheets portion to create a sheet separately for my NNN project that I'm going to create. Now here I'm going to write name, email, contact and status. Have to actually sign in with our email. Only that we can get the access to the APIs of the Google. Press continue. And then all the permission will be listed. You have to select them all. Press continue. And successfully connected. Now you can see that here we have two files or the sheets. We have to click at recruitment automation. Go to the sheet section and that was sheet one. So select that. Here we have to map it manually, meaning that all the columns will be listed here and we are going to put the values. For that, I'm going to tell you what values will be coming inside it. Now, if we run the Gmail trigger, so we will see that is our thing working or not. Before that, I'm going to check each and everything. Here, the key is missing. And here, we need to give the JSON snippet so that it would be the body of the email coming. And from that, it has to save the details. On executing the workflow, we have got an error. Let's see what the error is. Okay, you can clearly see that our output here in the AI agent is inside a single parameter. The name, contact and email. And we don't want it because in the sheets portion, we have made three different columns. To make it distinctly saved inside our sheet, we're going to use function node. For that, I'm going to write a JavaScript code. Now, there are two options, JavaScript and Python. You can write this code from, you can copy and paste the code from the chat GPT as well by just telling that I want to make one output into three different parameters. 
Now let's go back and connect the nodes properly. Let's execute the workflow. And one thing is missing that parameters are not listed on their fields properly. We are going to take every parameter to its proper position. And in the status portion, we are going to write done in the fixed parameter form. And the rest of the parameters will be coming in the expression mode. Now you can see everything is listed properly going in the sheet section and there you can go. The email contact and status has been updated in the sheets. Now let's write again one email to see that whether it is actually fetching this or not. It has been saved inside our workflow. It has been saved. And here we can see that our information has been saved. So this was all about the recruitment automation and we saw that how a person is going to send us email and the information is going to be saved in the Google Sheets. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any queries don't forget to mention in the comment section and till the next time bye bye